the phrase content is king is a phrase I originated. It's mm. mine. Content will always be king. And branded content, like the brands we have, will always reign supreme. Mm. People don't watch CBS. They watch what's on it. They watch Survivor. They watch the Bette Midler show or Future. They watch the NFL Super Bowl. They watch Tiger Woods. They don't watch distribution. They watch what's on it. And with even before with Viacom. And they watch the MTV group of networks because they like the programming. So content is king. However, with, with CBS, and that, while I say that, and I've said it for years, that doesn't mean I denigrate distribution. With CBS, we've got Infinity, which is number one in radio, number one in outdoor advertising, that's distribution. And we got CBS itself. Uh, we got a lot of great television stations. So we've always been in distribution. Content remains king, but let's say distribution is at least a near prince. And well, so we don't care about that. Uh, fraction, fractionalization or fragmentation. It's fine by us. We've lived in a fragmented world. I mean, think about our programming. It's all fragmented programming, niche programming, MTV, narrow focus, Nickelodeon, narrow focus, VH1, all music, narrow focus. So the fragmentation of the world, I don't know how others feel about it from a Viacom standpoint, is fine. The fragmented world, and the internet is the ultimate fragmenter. Everybody can be on the internet, but the powerful brands prevail wherever you go. Whoever's on, there's 100,000 music sites right now on the internet. Who's number one? MTV. Nickelodeon has about six kids sites. Who's preeminent in kids? on the internet, Nickelodeon. So what I'm saying is the, the power of the brand takes it to every format, to every distribution system, and in our case, to every place in the world. But as I said before, we're already extremely prominent on the internet. We have MTV, but right now, you know, it's kind of interesting. MTV gets its avid, uh, revenue, MTVI I'm talking about, internet gets its revenue primarily from advertising. And I think our advertising was up 150% this year. But if you want to talk about future potential on the internet for our brands, we did a, an experiment in which we auctioned off MTV paraphernalia with eBay. We broke eBay down. Recently, we did a deal with Dylan Ticketmaster to sell tickets to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We sold hundreds of thousands of tickets in a very short period of time. But again, what, what are we talking about? You can name the distribution system. We're talking about a brand, probably the most single powerful brand in the world, MTV. So we're all over the internet. 